Why did the octopus beat the shark in a fight? Because he was well armed. Eight arms. I think they get worse by the year, you know? Perfect. Hello there, broskies. It's a new year. It's a new review. It's a new balanced sneaker we are reviewing. On today's episode, we are having a look at the 2000R and Basement collaboration. Being out of the game for about a month, I feel proper rusty. I feel like Tarzan. I need to get back in the swing of things. So for those who don't know, the Basement or Basement Approved is a sneaker social club here in London. They have a very big presence on social media and it's sort of one of those trendy companies. And this isn't their first collaboration on a sneaker. Their first one was actually the Nike Dunk Low Basement in 2017. And then they went on to release a free Nike Air Max 90 City Pack, which was the London, Manchester and Glasgow. They released in 2019. And now we have a collaboration with New Balance on this 2000R. The 2000R has been shown a lot of love from some collaborators and even New Balance themselves. There are quite a few iterations to this sneaker that have made people pay more attention to it. And I'm guilty, up until the protection pack, I didn't really pay much attention to it. But when I saw leaked images in August for this sneaker, I was like, yes, that's a bit of me. I managed to get these off a shop drop from JD Global. It wasn't even the JD UK, but these did retail for 130 pounds. And I do believe they are getting a wider release as well. So fingers, toes, and everything else crossed. And from what I have heard, this might just be a UK exclusive as well. And that would make sense because of course the basement is based in London. But I guess just like B, we might just have to see after. Now New Balance collabs normally come with such a nice box to it, but unfortunately these only come with this GR New Balance box. And on the product sticker, it does say M2000RBB, which of course stands for basement. Now the 2000R is pretty much a new model to me, so it might just be for you as well. So I guess you're thinking, how do these fit? And for me, this particular model is a lot more snug on foot than your average New Balance sneaker. Although these did fit true to size, so if you are worrying about that, then don't. These do need some breaking in though and getting used to that padding, especially on the upper with that tongue. But other than that, for me personally, they did fit true to size. Now I did want to get that grey and cream version, but I think everyone else wanted those more too. When I went on the JD website, the grey colorway was sold out instantly. So this khaki one, I just had to settle, but I'm glad I did. The grey one looks like it would go with more things, but I'm such a fan of khaki anyway. But you know what? We've actually waffled on too much already. Let's take an even closer look. Now on most 2000Rs, we have that mesh underlay, but on here we actually have this smooth suede slash nubuck. It's sort of a mixture between the both on those light khaki panels. But of course we have these white end logos on the lateral side and again on the medial side as well. But one thing that stood out to me straight away was these reflective panels on the overlays. You wouldn't actually think these were reflective at face value, but they actually are. Now on the toe guard, we have that sort of rubbery effect to that panel. And it sort of gives me those Air Max 95 vibes. But just on top of that toe box, we have the B, of course, for basement. Now the lacing is something that I was very happy about. It does come with these chunky green laces in already. But then we get two extra black laces, one with 3M hints as well. Now the tongue is so chunky on this sneaker and like I've said, it does take some getting used to, but it does look good. We have that same rubbery feel that we do have on that toe guard and it is in green with the basement branding on top. Now on a sock liner, it has this soft velvet type feel. And on the insole, we have another nice touch by basement. We have that logo slapped inside of the insole. Now going to the heel counter, we have that pull tab and then we have the basement branding underneath there. Again, we've got that black rubbery type feel. And to the lateral side, we have that tag that says 2000R. Now the midsole is something that actually did surprise me. I'm glad they went with the black because if they went with white, I don't think it would have been as effective. Now this isn't the most comfortable midsole by New Balance, but it really does the job for the price as well. Now, from what I know, it doesn't actually have absorb or in cap, so it does look like your regular midsole and foam. Now on the outsole, it is pretty standard here with the New Balance branding at the back in this all black panel. I'm really hoping this review does do these sneakers justice because these are super, super nice in hand. 
but hopefully these do get a wider release and I'm hoping these will help you decide whether these are a buy or a buy. So the 2000R is pretty new to me and it might just be to you as well. If you are looking for a standard GR2000R, there are plenty on the market for very, very cheap. The GR1s normally go for about hundred pounds here in the UK and some of them look pretty decent. But this one in particular, I just had to get them. They're just so different for the right reasons. And the company basement do hold a lot of weight, especially here in London. For me personally, I was on a hunt for a 2000R, especially a collaborative sneaker. So as soon as I saw that tweet that these did come out, I had to snap these up. Overall, a great sneaker for the value, a great looking one as well. And it does stand out from the crowd. Yes, I did want the gray ones so much more, but the green ones, I can happily sell. Like David James, these are an absolute keeper. I am indeed going to give these a buy. But leave it down below what you think about this 2000R and basement collaboration. Is this one that gets your approval or was this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will be pinning the best comment. Anyways, broskies, thank you for stopping by. I hope you liked this video. And don't forget to hit me up on Instagram as well because I'm most active over there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And until the next episode, take care.